Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformations tutorial. We're assuming that everyone has completed the previous Matrix Transformations tutorials in order for you to fully understand this tutorial. So if you haven't done those, make sure you go back and have a look. Otherwise, let us get started. So the first thing we're going to do is show you guys how we can construct the transformation matrix to reflect either a point or a line in the x-axis. Now as always we start off by drawing a point at x is 1 and y is 0. And we find the image of this point after the reflection. And if our original point is A, then A dash is the reflection. Now, because we're reflecting it in the x-axis, if you can see this point is sitting on the x-axis. So if we reflect it, the image will still be the same point. Now, the image of A, we're going to put in the first column of our transformation matrix. So I'm going to put the answer, which is 1, 0. I'm going to put that in the first column of my transformation matrix. The next thing you do is you draw a point at 0, 1. And let's call this point B. So point B is located at 0, 1. And we find the image of point B after the transformation. So if we reflect this point in the x-axis, then the point jumps to the other side and we get B dash, which is 0, negative 1. And you put the answer from B dash into the second column of your reflection matrix. Okay, so therefore our reflection matrix uh, which we're going to use the symbol M to represent is equal to 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Okay, now we're going to test it using a random point. So we're going to make a point. Um, our original point is at X is 4 and Y is 3. Now in order to work out the image, what you do is you multiply M by X and Y in Y matrix and that will give us X dash Y dash which is the image so let's try doing that over here so M is 1 0 0 negative 1 and if we multiply that by 4 and 3 which is our original point and let's see what X dash and Y dash equals so then we get um, 1 times 4, 1 times 4 plus 0 times 3 is 4, 0, so I would just went first row times first column and the answer is 4 and then I go 0 times 4 plus negative 1 times 3 so that's negative 3 and that is equal to x dash y dash. Now just confirming that we have done this right, I'm going to draw both points. So my original point is at x is 4, y is 3. So that's this point here and if I reflect it in the x-axis I get x dash is 4 and y dash is negative 3. So uh, it will be located over here. So that is definitely correct. So if I call this A, then this will be A dash. Okay, so that is how you reflect a point in the X axis. Okay, now we're going to do reflection in the Y axis. 